Hello everyone, this is Mad Cat Sphere, and I just wanted to upload this video. I know I said I'm not going to upload no more videos with my cell phone or anything, but I just wanted to just give this last bit of information to you guys. Uh, this will be the last time I'm going to put up some better videos and tutorials um, with better um, intro and everything. But um, I just wanted to give this information and say that um, I know more than than the mediums that are like John Edwards and Matt Frazier. Like what I said in another video, um, when, when I use my cell phone, I, I really do mean that, that I really do know more than they do. And I don't speak to spirits, you know, I just kind of ponder and think and dwell on concepts and ideas, and I just know that they're just right, you know, I, I just believe it that they're right. And so I know more than Matt Frazier, uh, John Edwards, these other mediums and these other ones, you know, uh, uh, Polybia and all of them. Um, I know more than, I know that, uh, like, for instance, uh, hell and stuff like that, I know the concept of hell is not real. Uh, I know dreams, the dream state. Um, I know about um, how we perceive our external reality uh, in dreams and in heaven. Um, I want to talk about like in dreams because how I spoke about that already. You could have looked at a video already. But like in dreams, um, the dead relatives enter our dreams. And what they do is that they, they premeditate a staged set, a staged um, situation, if you will. Um, they premeditate something so they could pass on a message to you. Sometimes, you know, they, they do. Some of them, they really do want to pass a message. Maybe they want to tell you that they care about you or they love you. Or that they um, <clears throat> or they want to tell you something that something might happen. But they premeditate and, and they set up the stage in, in, um, to create the, um, um, a dream sequence. And um, that, that, that's what they do. It's, it's all staged. And you're the one that's like, it's like, have you ever seen MTV Punked? Or like a candid camera, but you're the one that's on candid camera. Everything around you in the dream when you have a dead relative speaking to you is all staged, but you're just kind of like caught off guard, you know? You're like being punked, you know? And you just get taken to this kind of path of this roller coaster kind of set path. You have to go over here, go over there, um, hear this, hear that, say this. They expect you to say certain things at a certain way or a certain time. You know, there's hard. It, it, it's kind of hard for you to kind of avoid it because they set it up to where like, like if, if they say something, you have to say yes or no. And they set it up to where like, you're going to say yes. They want you to say yes, that's true. Yes, I do love you, yes. You know, so, so they set it up. And the other thing about the dream is that um, a lot of people, when they have dreams about dead relatives, about a grandmother or father, they have a strange dream that at the beginning of it, it's all fine. But then toward the end or the middle of the dream, all of a sudden, they see their grandmother or grandfather doing something strange like smoking a cigarette or going out and running and jumping over stuff and being crazy. Well, the thing is, though, is that what happens is that um, um, is that you're um, you're waking up from your dream. Um, the anxiety start to set in. Um, you're you're starting to um, to wake up from your dream and you're starting you, your, your mind and your subconscious is starting to take over. Their, their scripted set kind of sequence of how the dream one uh, needed to go. And so the, the and so like all, all of a sudden the dream takes a turn that they do not expect, but they know that the dream will go this direction once you start to wake up. So they don't have really control. When they enter your dream, when they enter your mind, they're going into your world. And so they have to set things up just right and time it just right. But sometimes a dream drags on a little bit that they don't expect that you sleep a little bit longer. And then these strange things happen because your your living anxiety, your fears, your psychological uh, problematic things, how you live your daily life is always in your mind. It affects the whole sequence and it takes over um, um, the act. It takes over the act of your grandmother or father or your brother and it kind of like makes things weird. You know, your brain takes over them and kind of takes them for a ride because they're in your mind. And then they take in for a ride because they're into your mind. They're into a roller coaster ride that's your mind. And when you start to wake up, they take them for a ride. And so like it kind of messes everything up. So it's not really that they're crazy or they or they're acting strange in the afterlife, but it's just that it's just um it's just that uh, you're starting to wake up and 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 you're starting to take over. You're starting to kind of um, the dream is starting to deteriorate. And things kind of mess up a little bit on it on that. But on the other thing on on uh, on hell. And hell, the thing is, though, is that hell is nothing more than a spiritual hallucination. You know, like, uh, let, let's say that, um, that you know, when you're near death, 
what happens is is that when a person's near death they start to see certain ugly things and other uh, darkness or hell or something like brimstone and lava well, the thing is though is that the body is still tethered and near death the body is still tethered to the soul the soul is loosening it loosening up from the body but it's still tethered at the quantum level to the body so the body is still alive but it's sending information to the spirit and it's sending all the anxieties and fears that you had when you were living and so the body is acting as though it's still alive it's almost like a dream and so sending information is giving a like a like a cross-wired kind of like wrong information and and, and it and, and it gives you the the images that you're going through this horrible experience but once the body starts once the spirit starts to detach completely it all disintegrates and you enter real death and you become at peace. And that's what hell is. It's nothing more than the spirit loosening up from the body and the body messing it up by sending information to the spirit at the quantum level and giving bad bad images and everything like that, a bad message. And and the colors and everything about you're, you're sending external your spinal uh your emotional states. When you see colors in your dream, you're sending your external states of your emotional state to the color. You think it's new, but it's not. And the spiritual realm works the same way is that when you see colors or external images, the reason why it seems like it's new, like in dreams or afterlife, is because you're sending your emotional, psychological state to the external object and it makes it new because you're manipulating it through your emotional state, how you see it. And so I know more than the mediums, man. So come talk to me. It's Matt Catsphere. Thank you guys for watching. I know more than John Murray. It's Matt Frazier. Thank you guys.